Hello there, my name's Karen Tozer and I'm one of the course leads here at ARU uh, for the uh, B.Ed Primary Education with QTS course. And I've just put together this quick video with some top tips for the selection events that we hold, which I hope you're going to find useful. Now the selection event is not just an interview. You'll meet some of the teaching staff, some of the non-teaching staff. You'll have a tour of the campus, you'll meet other applicants and you'll be asked some questions. It's more than just an interview. So I've got some tips about the day. The first tip I've got is about preparation. Reread your personal statement. You know that you wrote that months ago. Remind yourself of what you said and consider how you might refer to it when you ask, the question, when you ask any questions during the selection event. Try and incorporate some of those experiences that you've written about in the responses that you give. We will have read your application form too, so we might ask you about it. Make sure you know where you're going and when. It's likely that there are several selection events going on, first of all, on all different campuses, but also for other courses as well. So it's important that you know where you should be and at what time. But don't worry, there are plenty of people around if you get lost or you don't know where you're going, so don't be afraid, just ask. Think about how you're going to get here though, okay? Uh, there aren't any car parking um, spaces on campus, so if you're travelling by car, really consider where you're going to park, how long it's going to take you to walk from the car park, etc. And if you're travelling by public transport, then make sure you know the times and how to get from the bus station or the train station to campus. Try and arrive in plenty of time so that you can grab a drink, go to the loo, have time to calm yourself and breathe before heading into the selection event. Now, if you are running late or if you're unable to attend, then just let us know as soon as you can. So, You've prepared, you've read, you're here in plenty of time. Now for the main event. When you arrive, you're going to be asked to provide some photographic identification because we need to know that we're actually interviewing you and not some imposter. A driving licence or a passport is absolutely perfect. And if you can have it open or ready, open at the right page would be great. And don't worry, we're not judging your photo. Now, at some point during the event, you're going to be called for an interview. Before we ask you anything, we're going to want to hear from you. So you'll be asked to prepare a short task, a five minute talk about a book that you have chosen. We want to know why you've chosen that book, how it's relevant to teaching. Now, practice what you want to say. It's fine to bring notes, but try not to read a script. We want to see your enthusiasm, your passion and your knowledge come out. Go for natural, not forced. And don't worry if you go wrong, trip over words or forget what you're going to say. That makes you human. It's how you cope when those things happen that shows us who you really are. If you're able to bring a copy of the book, then please do so. And be prepared to answer some questions about the book following your talk. Now it's our turn to ask you some questions. The questions are specifically designed to get you to talk, to talk about your knowledge and your experiences and your passion. Be specific when you're answering them. Make sure they're personal to you. Give some examples or experiences as a way of demonstrating those competencies that we're looking for. There are some common questions that you can practice before the event. For example, there's bound to be a, a question about why you want to become a teacher. Another might be why you want to study here. Some answers you'll be able to rehearse, but not to the point where it sounds like you're reading a script again. There aren't too many questions. Six, seven, and the time goes quickly. So make sure you get in everything that you want to tell us. Ultimately, we want to know about you, what you've done that's going to prepare you to take this next step. But remember, you're also selecting us. It's your opportunity to get to know us, to see if we're a good fit for you.
So think about what you want to know by the end of the selection event. What's going to help you make that decision? You might want to prepare some questions for us prior to the event. This also shows us that you're interested. Interested in the course, interested in the university. It shows us that you've prepared. There's lots of websites that will um, tell you to have original questions. But actually that's not really necessary. It's not part of our decision. So if you have a question that you think other people might have asked but you want to know, then ask it. And we will answer it honestly. This, remember, is a two-way process. You should be able to feel as if you can ask us questions that will help you make your decision as well. Finally, try and relax and enjoy the process. You've put a lot of hard work into getting to this point, so try and make the most of it. You've earned your place at this selection event, so be proud of yourself. Remember, we are looking for commitment, for passion, for resilience for an understanding of the demands of the course in your future career. We're not looking for a finished product or a perfect teacher. This is an opportunity for you to get to know us, for you to get to know the course, for you to get to know the campus. Now we completely understand that this is something that makes people feel nervous and nerves are to be expected. However, I would try to encourage you to relax as much as possible, take in some deep breaths throughout the day. You're going to meet some new people, some of whom might be, become friends for life. Take some deep breaths, remember while you're here and that you deserve to be here and go for it. Thank you for listening. See you soon.